Welcome to part two on how to create queries and plots within Insight. Now let's move to plotters. Double click on the plotter. You will have many controls to choose from. They're mostly visual attributes ranging from color, spacing, line width, and style. You can adjust the title up here. The axis general settings affects all of the axis here and axis specific affects attributes either on the X or Y axes. The options are pretty straightforward. They're either for labels, background, legends, the position of the plotter in the viewport, and so on. The marker, for example, controls the marker you see in your plot within the viewport. By default, it could be set to zero, which would explain it being behind the plot. It is currently visible for you since your axis doesn't go through zero. The Style Manager allows you to copy a selection of attributes such as line style from one object and apply them to another. The specific attributes that are copied vary between the various object types. The Manager preserves a list of common, reusable name style sets or immediate copy-paste operations via right mouse button menus. The list of name styles is automatically saved between sessions of Ensight. The list can be filtered by the object type and an icon can be assigned to each style. The simplest case is to right click on an object and select style copy. Then click on another object of a similar type, right click and select style paste. The paste operation can be repeated as often as needed. If you were to change the query to arc length, the X axis does not necessarily change. It is still true that it is distance in meters, however it may be more appropriate if Z from origin is selected. Therefore distance in meters would be the Z from origin in this case. One thing to know with queries as with anything else is if you change the parent to the query, the query will change. You can dynamically adjust and play with the location of that line and the query updates. The same way if you modify a grandparent. This will also change as well. Grandparents do not change dynamically. Only parents can do so interactively. If you right-click the values of the query, you will be presented with various options to choose from. The most common one is to rescale the axes and a right-click to shore hide the background. If you have many plots, you can use the auto-arrange plots option to reset them and not have them one on top of each other. You can also save a plot to a file. This will save that information to a file or a report. Finally, plot queries can toggle on a unique color for all of the plots to auto color. Right click over the query. You will find particularly useful the fact that you can copy to the clipboard and if you launch Excel, you can directly paste these values into it. Right clicking again, you can save your files to different formats under the data option. These file types range from a CSV, Insight XY, ASCII, and a report format. In regards to the plotter, there is an option called Save Plot 2. For example, Save Plot to File will temporarily turn off everything in the viewport. It will increase the plotter size and save that image so that you only have an image of the plotter alone. You will be asked for the file name, leave everything as is, and press OK. As you can see, the biggest takeaway here is the dynamic part of the graphs. As you change aspects of your simulation, the graph will also change according to your modifications. This concludes our demonstration on how to create queries and plots within Insight.